Hey, what's going on guys? Chris Chavez here with Fandra.com. Uh, we're back again with the OnePlus 2. Uh, now we already kind of showed you or went over some of the hardware specs of the phone, which we are, uh, to say, very, very pleased by, <laughs> or pleased with. Uh, but now I want to kind of show you guys Oxygen OS. So the phone runs Android 5.1.1 Lollipop, but uh, it's, uh, I guess, OnePlus's own version of that with something they call Oxygen 2.0. Uh, now there's a bunch of crazy new features. Uh, their launcher, for one, is kind of neat. It's got this little, if I swipe over here, they call it their shelf, uh, the OnePlus shelf. And uh, you can customize sort of this header image here with your own picture. Shows you your most recently used apps. You can put your frequent contacts in there. And if you want, you could even add more widgets. So if I click this here, you can see here, if I want a, I don't know, messaging widget, it'll just kind of be there at the bottom. So. Uh, kind of reminds us of Blink Feed, only it's not news, it's just a lot more um, uh, intuitive and useful. I actually really, really like this a lot. Um, but that's just the half of it, not even the half of it. So if I jump into settings here, you can see here, uh, you got kind of the regular toggles and settings and whatnot, but you also have buttons. So if I go ahead and click that, you can see here you can uh, swap between the, using the capacitive buttons or using on-screen navigation buttons which I know a lot of people are going to be very, very happy about. If you do use these buttons here, you can kind of swap what they do. Uh, normally this is uh, just like the normal uh, recent button and the other one's back. You can swap it if you want it more like the Galaxy version. Um, that's what I call it anyway. Uh, the backlight, you can have them turn on for the keys or not. Always enable the home button. This is doesn't actually click, which I'm not sure if I mentioned that last time around. So if you just tap it, it can go home or you can have it not do that. Um, which is neat. Go back to the buttons. And uh, you can have a double tap action if you'd like. So there's just a lot, a lot of stuff. Long press action, which opens up Google search right now. Um, again, lots and lots of different features and stuff. So that's just buttons. Gestures are some of the gestures that you can do. Double tap to wake. So if the phone's powered off or sleeping, double tap, wakes it right up. Swipe up. Uh, draw an O to open the camera. Did that work? Did it work? Try it again. Oh, maybe O's the other way. No, did it. There you go. Pretty amazing stuff here. Um, so yeah, that's then you can do toggle V for flashlight and music controls and all that stuff, which is pretty awesome. Uh, we, we really, really, really like that. Um, display is kind of just regular stuff here. Battery, apps, users. Uh, and there is multi-user support, which is nice. Some of the other phones that have Android 5.1 don't have multi-user multi -user support. That's just your fingerprint reader. If I click it, I can show you kind of how it works in the UI with that. Click next, just press your finger on there, and it kind of just um, starts with the percentage. And eventually, you'll have one finger registered, and you can kind of do it different ways. So uh, OnePlus says this is actually faster than on the iPhone at recognizing your fingerprints which we haven't been able to test yet, but so we're just going to have to take them at their word for it. Uh, but pretty neat. Uh, the UI also looks very, very material and lollipop-ish. Customization is actually really neat because you can go into a dark mode, which I know a lot of people are going to be really excited about. That's kind of kind of amazing. You can even change the accent color as well. So if you want something green, kind of reminds me of the old Sense days, or you can just go back to the default, which is this material kind of green. Uh, and LED notifications, you can kind of change those up as well. Uh, and customize those. Pretty darn neat. So many options, so many wonderful, wonderful options. Um, so let's go down here and there's app permissions. I know a lot of people are gonna go nuts for this. So this is an Android M feature, but they've actually implemented it in Oxygen 2.0. So they kind of give you a warning there because you can break some apps if you kind of kill off some of the permissions that they use. Um, Amazon Shopping for One has a bunch of permissions they asked for, but uh, you can see here they tell you if it's ever used it, read your M SMS, MMS, all that stuff. Most of the time they need these to kind of just do certain functions, so I probably wouldn't mess around with these too much until Android M because they um, are on demand. So when you open the app and it, but yeah, I digress. Uh, still neat, neat for the power users, I guess. Um, and kind of moving down, there is, oh, developer options. They have this weird, uh, I haven't seen this before. <laughs> and it, I freaking love it. So the first thing I do when I get an Android phone is I go down to Window Animation, Transition, and Animator, and I turn those down to 0.5. Uh, that's kind of a little too fast. I kind of always wish there was an in-between, and with Oxygen OS 2.0 there actually is. It's, it's 0.75, so <laughs> you can kind of just speed them up a tad without going kind of overboard. Um, something that's pretty 
pretty freaking awesome. Um, and yeah, so that's going to kind of do it. You can see here with the dark theme, I mean, it changes that stuff. Uh, folders also become dark as well. Uh, it's, it's pretty, pretty great. Pretty great stuff. So that's just, uh, I guess, a quick preview of Oxygen OS. I'm with Chris Chavez <laughs> with Banjo.com. I am Chris Chavez. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.